All right, guys, today we're going to talk about what I use for most of my shoots with off camera flash. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to share my most commonly used equipment. I'm really focusing on a one system today, and then I'm going to show you some of the images that I've created with the technique that I use for my indoor photography brand sessions using off camera flash. So let's jump into the equipment that I use, which I have right here. I mainly use speed lights. Now I have two speed lights. I do recommend starting with one. If you're able to get comfortable with just using one, then maybe adding a second one. Now these are Flashpoint um, speed lights. I can link up in the description this brand specifically. Now these come with a trigger. The package that I bought came with a trigger. Uh, you want to be mindful of what trigger and what flash system is going to be compatible with your camera. So this is Nikon compatible. I shoot with a Nikon D750. So these are compatible with that. A few things to note, this particular um, system does have TTL capability. It's basically like auto settings for flash, which I don't use. I shoot in manual for my flash as well as my camera. I don't use TTL, um, but then it also has an opportunity for high speed sync. So again, I will link up this system. This trigger just sits right on my hot shoe and will fire the flash. I usually have the flash off camera sitting either on the little feet that it has, that it comes with, like, I don't know if this is what you call it, I call it its feet, they just kind of hook in just like that, um, or I will put it on a light stand and use that. So uh, mainly the, the way I use this is I'm, I'm bouncing the flash. Typically I'm going to bounce it into a window, it's just something that I saw a photographer do once and now I pretty much use that method as much as possible. There's going to be situations where there's not going to be a window and in that case, I usually just pick a surface that I um, feel will reflect the uh, so-called direction of natural light and go from there. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the images that I've made with this idea of bouncing flash, um, usually with one speed light, with the trigger, and my D750. So I'm going to pop into this here. So this image here I was bouncing. Uh, flash the flash was camera right and I was able to you can kind of see some of the shadowing here camera right um, this image here Similarly the camera the flash was actually behind me bouncing into her window this image here um, Was in a basement you can tell a basement here and there was a window over here that I bounced the flash into you can see It's much brighter on this side. That's where the flash came from um, But it was a basement and this one here, uh, there was a large window, probably 15 feet behind me that I bounced that into. Um, this one here, I had the flash camera left bouncing into a window back onto her. Again, you guys can see that these are really like naturally looking images and that's really what I aim to do. It's totally possible. I recommend you guys really just practice um, doing it. Um, and then this one here as well. So if this is something you guys are interested in learning more about, um, I recommend that you follow me on Instagram at the brand photographer method. I will be launching an off camera flash course, hopefully within this year, hopefully by the fall of 2022. I do give a lot of tips on off camera flash at that account. So I recommend you go follow me there. I'm going to link it up. Um, and if you have any questions about getting into brand photography in general, head over to thebrandphotographermethod.com. Got a lot of freebies there to get you started. I even have a five-step guide that walks you through the entire brand photographer method. That's my course, the boot camp. Um, yeah, so that's what I recommend doing, starting with a very simple system like this to get you started. Don't worry about anything else. Keep it nice and simple. And this also allows you to travel light, which we all love. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one.